Hello everyone, welcome to a new Training Thursday. I just finished my day, but this day was all dedicated to recovery. Two days ago, I had played a full game. We had a practice match. We won 5-2. I scored a goal, it was very fun, but it was super hot, 40 degrees in the stadium. So it was hard on us. So yesterday, we also had a pretty hard training. So I didn't really understand why we uh, practiced that hard, but you know, we have an important game coming up Saturday, so um, we had to train hard to prepare us for Saturday. And today, that's why today I'm not doing anything crazy. I think a lot of people, they don't realize how important recovery is. Mm, and I sometimes have underestimated it myself too. But it is so, so, so important, even more important than your practice. If you don't recover well and you go into practice again, you get injuries like the the balance between training and rest is so so important and you can speed up recovery in so many ways and i will share with you what i did today so on a day like this where i really focus on recovery uh, i try to do as much things as possible that i know that will help me with that but there a lot of those things are actually routine in my uh, daily practice um, like what, what I start off with is stretching. So do yoga. There are so many good stretches you can do with yoga and to work with your breath as well, to help your muscles relax. When you are tense, breathe, relax, bring attention to your body and help it to, to stretch out the tension. So that really helps. I, I actually do the there's like a basic yoga routine uh, called the Zonnegroet. I don't know how was it called in English, but uh, I do that multiple times a day before practice, after practice. Um, so that's something that I think everyone should do. Everyone should stretch. Whether you do, you're a top athlete or not, stretch is so important. Then the next one is still go to the gym because I believe that um, just activating your muscles will help speed up recovery as well. Doing nothing, resting, you know, has its time and place, but I think just 30, 40 minutes of uh, some exercise with weights um, will help speed up recovery. Now, I don't mean to, to go heavy weights. No, just go very light. You always have to do squats, I think. Squats and deadlifts, um, I think people, uh, also everybody, um, squats and deadlifts will help you so much with posture in general. Like, and if you're tense and you do the squats and the deadlifts, it helps you stretch out, um, activate your muscles. Uh, leg muscles are one of the biggest muscle groups in your, in your body. So when you activate those, um, a lot of the blood flow goes through and um, you know do do some lighter lighter light weights a lot of repetitions so you get uh, you work out your body get some blood flow and um, that's what I did today um, also you know my legs and back are usually the ones that are uh, most sore so I do the lighter work and repetitive work um, for my legs but I still do upper body um, on those days because I know I can do a little bit extra on that so I did some um, bench press and some pull-ups and then next is I'm lucky to have physiotherapists at the team so I was uh, when I need some extra attention I uh, go to the physiotherapist and asks for um, a massage treatment and they do an amazing job of that and also I know as a younger players as a soccer player it's hard to uh, demand that for yourself but it's so important that you go to the physiotherapist and tell him that you need it for your recovery regardless of your playing or not you're training a lot you I bet, I bet you are so 
you need your recovery and you need treatment so do that it's so important and then also something I did today and which, which has been kind of in my routine too I, I almost do that daily is cold baths so we have a um, sauna like a, a bath place nearby where we can go for free and it's lovely it has warm baths sauna uh, um, I don't know how you call it, the other one the smoke room uh, smoke room I don't know how you call it. and the cold baths baths and um, just standing in the cold baths for five five to ten minutes um, it's so hot now in Korea too and with training that I mean that's at least why I do it with training you get inflammation in your joints and your body heats up a lot and I do believe that going into the cold water and standing in there for a long while will help cool your body and your joints down and also after the cold bath and you go into the warm bath and you change it up it will help with the blood flow your blood vessels open and close so it will help your recovery also a little bit and then what other thing I always do I do a lot especially when I'm I feel hurt somewhere and is self massage so if you don't have the money or the time to get a massage you can always self massage and it's also an, a very good way to connect with yourself to your body to you know really feel where where do where do I need attention and I do believe that when you yourself bring the attention to a place that you want to recover um, I think just your your intention and attention will help speed up the recovery already and um, yeah so that's what I do a lot as well and then after all that as you can see I went outside there is something that has been on my mind for a while that I've been working on but I'm keeping it a secret for now but there is a new technique that I've been working on and uh, I hope I can show that to everyone soon and I hope it will be very very effective but uh, it's something I came up with because I've been thinking about it a lot lately and uh, yeah I think I think it will be effective but I will show you that later and for now I'm just finished up with that and I'm going back to my room there I just showered got back into the room but it's not over yet protein shake and then we're not even talking about food just as important to recover and then while I'm talking it's already it's already late it's uh, almost 10 30 sleep of course is also important so I should wrap this up quick and go to bed but before that I also have this luxurious foot massager that I got from my wife I'm kind of trying to make that into a routine every night to do this and then study Korean so I've been doing that more and more lately and uh, I really want to try and learn to speak Korean fluently that's what I'm working on and also this is pretty funny the KFA social media of the K3 and K4 league they asked uh, their followers to give me a nickname and this is what the the followers on that social media came up with Tom and Jerry Tommy Chonan Bomber Jerry Orange Jelly Oran Oranya Rich I don't know what that is Walnut Jerry because Shonan has a hodo which it's like walnut walnut cakes as which is what Shonan's famous for and uh, so they asked me to pick one so uh, I was like well I don't like any <laughs> so just Jerry is fine I I hope I wasn't too rude uh, that they will start hating me but they're not that cool <laughs> Oh, and then also you see this fancy machine 
I have two fancy machines. They are absolutely unnecessary, but if you can afford it, like you know, every percentage helps, I think. So uh, this is kind of nice. You can drill that into your muscles, but a foam roller is just as good. So don't you don't need to buy all these expensive things. Uh, but I like them. I include them in my uh, routine. So that was it for today. That's what I do to recover as soon as possible, as quick as possible. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe you learned something and I'll see you next week.